Hi and welcome to the 2018 paper 2 of the Junior Cert Higher Level and this is question 13. So as usual if you want to copy of these notes I'm working off just send me an email at shanetroy at gmail.com and that email should be in the description below. So question 13, um, we have a blurb here. When she is on holidays Barbara sees the building shown on the right. She wants to estimate the surface area of one of the spheres in the building. She estimates that the radius of the sphere is nine meters. Now the estimate word must be important. So what do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just nine spheres in total, although it does say she's only looking for one of them. Okay. Now it could be all you know, nine, whatever. I'm not sure if there's one, two, three behind there. Um but well, they say one, so we'll see if this changes. Part A here says, using Barbara's estimate of the radius, so nine. Okay, so I'm gonna write down R equals nine. That might get me an attempt just for that. Okay, uh, work out her estimate of the surface area of the sphere. Give your answer in meter squared in terms of pi. Okay, so look, this is an area question. So I'm gonna go and we quickly just open up. Let's see, let's go. Now, here's the a digital copy. You're going to open the first page. You go. This is area volume. Okay. So, I'm click on area and go. Is that going to help me? Is that going to help me? Maybe it's a circle. Keep going. Okay. Going to help me. Area, sector, triangle cylinder cone and here we are sphere okay so that's her formula so you see here it says here a represents the curved surface area b is the volume so it's the top formula and make sure you copy this across carefully people get mixed up because the volume of uh, a, a sphere is 4 over 3 pi r cubed and people often write down here as the formula 4 pi r cubed or they do for the volume and they do 4 over 3 pi r squared, okay, but it's the wrong formula and nothing, okay. So, write out the formula carefully is important. So, it's the area equals 4 pi r squared. Now, that's a formula of 1, 2, 3 unknowns. Now, we know pi, okay, it's the number 3 by 1, 4, or the button on the calculator. We're looking for the area. Okay, and we know our estimate of R, which is 9. So really, you only have one unknown. So this is solvable. I'll go to the answer. So this is the formula there I've taken in. Okay, that's the formula in my answer. I've identified my information, put it in, put it to the calculator, and I got this answer. 324 pi. I don't need to go decimal because it says leave it in terms of pi. Put my units in, it's squared um, uh, units, so square meters. And that's part A. Now part B is a, it's tricky enough, okay, but the actual radius of this sphere is between 8 and 10. So you want estimated 9, okay. Maybe she, well, maybe she's right, but it's, it, it's between this range, okay. So um, part B then says, work out the maximum value of the percentage error in Barbara's estimate of the surface area of the sphere. That is the error as a percentage of the actual surface area. Give your answer correct nearest percent. Now, I'll tell you straight off, I struggled with this for a long time. Boom. Should they give me two values? If they had told me the actual radius is eight, this would be grand. Okay, I, you know, but because they gave me two values, so which is it? So, which is it? Do both. Okay. Um, that's the only advice I can give you. That's my, ultimately was finding my conclusion. I looked at the market scheme and was like, oh, well, that is how you do it. Okay, so when R is equal to 8, I found the surface area. Okay, so exact same as before. Okay, I got this. Okay, then I went, I guess the error here. Now, I always took a percentage error. Did I put it in? Okay, so yeah, this is a hint here. Uh, just a infographic just showing uh, the formula for percentage error. So it's my value take away my um, whatever like real value over the the real value 
Okay, so you get your difference over the real. There's different ways of saying that. There's no good way of saying it um, to memorize it. Okay, and you have to memorize it. Because it could come up and it's just it's one of these ones that just always puts me off and puts me on the back foot. Because I'm always doubting my memory of the formula. I have no particular good way of memorizing it. If you know of one, please fire me off an email at shanetry at gmail.com. I'll be forever in your debt. Um, so anyway, we, we uh, experimental value is 324. Okay, that was the um, girl's estimate. Okay. The actual value, if the radius was 8, is 256 pi. The difference is the error over the the actual answer, which is 256 pi. Uh, I'm going to play by 100 to get percentage, and I got 27%. Now, they're saying the radius could be 10. Okay, so I do the same thing, find the surface area, exact same way as before. Then I get the difference between the 400 pi and the uh, the the real value. Okay, there's an estimate. Um, that's the error. Okay, then put the error over the actual value. Now, in this case, it's 400 pi because that's what was calculated. We'll play by 100, and I got 19 percent. Now, which then is the maximum? Well, obviously, 27 is bigger than 19. So the maximum is 27%. Now, to get that, okay, you had to make that leap but to use both. And I can't say in a real exam, without having the advantage of looking at the marking scheme, if I'd have been all too successful in this question, to be honest, um, other than you know, waffling. Now, maybe it becomes a point when you kind of go, as you're getting stuck into it, you kind of go, oh, yeah, and you keep going. But I imagine if you'd done the value for one of them, just say this bit here, Okay, and ignore the 10, you will be up close to the high partial. Okay, which, look, in a question where you have no real clue what you're doing, because the question's weird, that's not a bad return. Anyway, that's question 13, so I think question 14 is last, and thank you very much, see you on question 14.